Hi guys, I'm Rahul and today I'm back with another SketchUp tutorial. I haven't done a SketchUp tutorial in a while that's because I don't have any new ideas about Sketch SketchUp tutorials on my head. So I'm back. So now I'm covering the basics that is how you can get started with SketchUp or how you can start modeling on SketchUp. So there is a lot of questions like how do I start on SketchUp. So this video is for newbies in SketchUp. So if you want to be a professional modeler in SketchUp, you want to cover the basics first. Not go for any big model tutorials like you are interested in modeling some apartments. If you look uh, tutorials for that, you'll find it and you can able to model an apartment very well. But if you create your own apartment with your own creativity, you can do that because you don't know about the basics of SketchUp. So here we are, I'm gonna teaching you how to create basic shapes in SketchUp. This is pretty simple. The basic shapes are cube, a spear, pyramid and a cylinder. First start with that. First start with a cube. If you want to create a cube in SketchUp, you first need to create a square. For that first select rectangle tool, then click on canvas, then move your mouse, then you will see a diagonal line and also saying square over the tool. Just down the two then it says that it's a perfect square so click again on the other point then you will get a perfect square then the next tool is push and pull this is a very good and easy tool that makes SketchUp different from the other tough 3d modeling softwares you can just pull this click on that face then move your mouse up then just click it again and here you go a cube I don't know this is a perfect cube or so and here it is uh, I, I think you got that point just create a shape then pull it up then you will get a cube so move on to the next basic shape that is spear by using the basic tools, you can really create a spear. There is no uh, object for that. So there is a simple trick or revolve trick that we are using to create spears in SketchUp. That is first create a circle from the front view, then go to the top view, then create a circle like this one. Then select this, cir this circle then use the follow me tool then click on this little circle over here then you have done the roll trick maybe you're wondering why this follow me tool I can like this because I'm using SketchUp 2040 so I got a spear again just create two circles one from the top view one from the front view then use follow me like the revolve trick in SketchUp. So next move on to the next basic shape that is a cylinder. That is very simple. I think you know how to mold a cylinder. Just create a circle by selecting the circle tool from the toolbar. toolbar. Then create a circle on the canvas. Then use push and pull tool. Then extrude this face. By clicking on that face then move your mouse arrow just this or more upward then click again and you will get a nice cylinder and if you want to create a hollow cylinder just delete this part delete this part and you got that and if you want to create a more 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 thickness to its edge just use offset create a offset like this then click on this face then click on to the end and here we go Move on to the next basic shape that is a pyramid. So, how 
we create a pyramid so if you look at on a pyramid you can see the bottom face is a square so you want to first draw diagonals then locate the center point then click on that then go to front view then you can see if your line is straight on the blue axis you can see the line automatically changes the color to blue so that means it's straight click on that then select draw a line to the points on the edges on the water test, sorry and here we go a pyramid and that's it guys this is very simple basic this tutorial is only for newbies that who don't know how to create basic shapes and who are new to SketchUp and also if you want to be a great 3D model first start with SketchUp because it got really nice tools that is really easy to use then download Autodesk Maya because that is the most powerful 3D modeling software then some, watch some tutorials uh, that's also on YouTube for free then you want to cover the basics first don't guys don't go for the big things the main problem of the new 3d models that new I mean newbies in 3d modeling software that is that they really don't like to watch and learn the basics guys if you want to be a great 3d model please learn basics because that's then only you can do whatever you think on your head mind or whatever I'll see you guys in the next video stay tuned for that please subscribe